In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a show password feature. It's super straightforward, very easy to do pretty quickly. I'm going to show you how this works. So if I type into this uh, input here, my secret password, you can see that my value is concealed, as I would expect a, uh, a password input to behave, right? But then I have this um, icon here. Now, if I click on this icon, it'll show me my password in a text right below the input. And if I click on it again, it'll hide it once more. So this is just toggling the visibility of the text, okay? So I'm gonna take you to the editor now to show you how this works. Only a few elements here. This text is simply my uh, input label. And my input itself is set to content format password. Right? So when you have it as a password, what it'll do is uh, give you the concealed uh, value there with the little dots. And this text element below, all it's doing is displaying the value of this input. Nothing fancy going on there. So I've labeled this text element as text pass preview so that I know uh, when I'm working with this, I know which one this is. Um, but this is just showing input passwords value. So whatever you type into here will, will be uh, the value of this text there. Now, you want to make sure that this text element is not visible on default. So at the very bottom here uh, for, the, for the pass preview, this element is visible on page load. You want to make sure that is not checked, okay, so that it's hidden when the page first loads. All right now, this icon up here, and it can be whatever you want, but I have a little eye icon. Um, when I click on it, it's going to show the text. And when I click on it again, it'll hide the text. All right, so I'm gonna take you to that workflow. The action that lets us do that um, to toggle the visibility on and off is an action called toggle. So under element actions here, we'll go to this toggle action. And all you do is select the element that you wanna to toggle on and off. So I selected pass preview. Okay, I already had that there, so I'm just gonna remove that one. But that's all that does. It kind of combines, if I go back into element actions here, it kind of combines the show and hide actions into one. If, um, if you know that your behavior needs to be so that you're clicking on something so that it always just switches back and forth between the two, toggle is a great action for this. And so that's exactly what we want this little eye icon to do. So that's all you need to do there. Once that's clicked, it'll toggle that element and um, there's one more piece to this. I don't know if you noticed here in my little preview, but my icon is also changing. When the text is hidden, we've got a crossed out eye, and I click on it to show the text, then it's an open visible eye there. So I did that by adding a condition to the icon so that when the past preview text is visible, this guy here, then I'm gonna change the icon, all right? And that's pretty much it. That's exactly how it works. Um, let me know if you guys have any cool little tricks uh, with this feature that you've implemented in your app. Um, please like this video if this was helpful. Subscribe to the channel. There's uh, new tutorials going up all the time. And let me know if there's something specific that you wanna learn. I love hearing from you guys. All right, thanks for watching.